Hey everyone, in this video we'll have some fun with Excel and learn some neat skills along the way as we create a really simple slot machine. Ready to get started? My plan is to create a basic three reel slot machine using the following Excel skills. Creating random numbers, using the rand between and vlookup functions, conditional logic, and cell formatting. The first thing I'm going to do is create the slot area where the reels will appear. I'll create three areas for the reels using merge and center to make them larger than single cells. Now I'm going to make the font size larger so that the symbols that appear in each reel really stand out. Next I want to create a black border around the reels. I'm going to tinker with the column widths so that they are roughly the same thickness as the rows above and below the reel area. Now I'll use the shading option to create the black border around the real area. Alright, now let's create the magic that will make all of the slot action happen. First, I'm going to assume that each reel of our imaginary slot machine has 10 possible outcomes. I'll create the values of each possible outcome in rows 1 to 10. Beside each of these numbered cells, I'm going to use the Wingdings font that is available on PC to add symbols to each of the reels on our slot machine. So as an example, if the number 2 is drawn, the slot machine will display the smiley face. Next I'm going to name the range of values to make things easier on me a little later on. I will highlight the cells and in the field above cell A1, I'll enter the name Draw Results and click Enter. Next, I'm going to set up the random number draws for each of the three reels. I will label the rows as Reel 1, Reel 2, and Reel 3. I'm going to use the Rand Between function so I can generate a random number between two values. In this example, it will be between 1 and 10. The formula is equals Rand Between and then an opening bracket followed by 1, then a comma, and then 10. I'll add the closing bracket and click Enter. We now have the random result for the first reel. As I proceed through this tutorial, you'll notice that the random numbers will sometimes change as I add more formulas throughout the worksheet. This is because whenever I click Enter, the random numbers will be redrawn. I can also use Shift and the F9 key to refresh the worksheet at any time. I'll now copy the formula to the other two reels. The next step is to associate the number drawn for each reel to the symbol next to it. This is where we learn and apply the VLOOKUP function. Once again, we'll begin with reel 1. I'll start with equals VLOOKUP and then an opening bracket and then I'll pick the number generated for the first reel in cell B12. I'll add a comma and then type draw results, which is the name we gave to the range of numbers and symbols. This makes it much easier than highlighting or manually entering the range. I'll add another comma and then type the number 2 because we want the second column from the left of the range. This would be the symbol we want. One more comma and we'll enter false because we want an exact match to the value in B12. I'll add a closing bracket and click enter. We can now see the symbol next to the number drawn for real 1. Oops, I have to change the font here to Wingdings. Now we'll copy the formula to the next two reels. Now if I refresh the page using Shift plus F9, we can see that our VLOOKUP is showing the symbols next to the numbers drawn. Now let's display these values in our slot machine. The first thing we have to do is change the font for the reels to Wingdings. For the first reel, I will enter equals, and then I'll click on the cell that displays our VLOOKUP result for reel 1 and click enter. I'll do the same for the next two reels. Once again, I'll refresh the worksheet a few times to simulate the spins of our slot machine. I'm going to add some functionality that will display a message when all three reels match. 
Using Merge and Center, I'm gonna create an area that will display a winner message below the reels. I'll also create a border around this area. The logic that I want to use is that if the values for real 1, 2, and 3 match, I'll display the word winner. Otherwise, I won't display anything. This can be handled by a conditional formula. I'll begin with equals, and then if, with an opening bracket, and the word and, because we want to make sure a couple of the conditions are true. Followed by another opening bracket, and now we add the conditions. The first if real 1 equals real 2, and then a comma, then if real two equals real three. This would mean that all reals match. I'll add a closing bracket. This closes off the logic portion of the and statement. Next, I'll add a comma and enter what I want to be displayed if the result is true or all three match. In this instance, I'll enter the word winner within quotes. Next, I'll add a comma and then what I want to display if they don't all match. In this instance, I'll put a space between a set of quotes because I don't really want to display anything. I'll add a closing bracket and click Enter. Now, I'll try refreshing to see how long it takes us to get a winner. There we go. That didn't take too long. In this video, we've had fun learning a number of Excel skills that can be used in a number of different applications. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again and have an excellent day.